Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday. It is I, Mikkel Ramos, and I am here, host of the Flex Zone. Welcome to the Flex Zone, the only place where you can get your sports how you want it when you need it. Tonight's show, a review of week six of the NFL, and we conclude with our week seven picks. Um, things are a little bit different in the studio today. We, we, we had to chop it down a bit as Pledge Week here at Morgan. You know, people don't know this, but you know, hi. We actually do our show at Morgan and use the facility here. Pledge Week at Morgan. Please give the WEA 88.9 FM if you want to hear that regular public radio sound and you love it and enjoy it a lot. Please do. Because of that, we had to condense the show to a little bit of the guys that you normally like and love. But they'll be back next week because guess what? We will go L-I-V-E at Birdland Bar and Grill next week. It's coming. It's here. I didn't think it would be so fast. But with me, my ride or dies from the beginning of this whole extravaganza, Cravante. What's good? What's Dre. Good? Yo, what it is? Hello, Corey. The intern. He's, he's here. He's waving. Hello. I know you can't see him, but I figured I'd be very interactive. Wow. Um Back to the originals. Wow, we haven't had one of these shows in forever. It's like Literally. the original Power Rangers before they got into all the extra stuff. Before they added Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like we like the Animaniacs or something. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Anyways, remember that? Oh man, I miss them. Okay. Please go like us on our Facebook page, The Flex Zone. Follow us and comment on Twitter, Instagram, at The Flex Zone 1. Um, social medias, people. Let's get them early. I'm Mikael Sade, M-Y-K-E-L-L-S-A-D-E. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and the Snap, Snapchat, for those that don't know. And I'm on Twitter, at Mikael Ramos. Cravante, please, enlighten the people on how they can reach you, my brother. That's Cravante Heard, C-R-E-V-O-N-T-E, H-U-R-D-E. That's on Facebook and Twitter. Instagram, C R E V O N T E underscore H and uh, Cree underscore Gatter on Snapchat. That's C R E underscore G O T I T. And there you go, Dre. What can we have? Where can they, the good people find you? Well, every time you say my name, you just start smiling. Because <laughs> you, <laughs> you always blame about, about to come with some real original. Worded, go ahead. You always blame it on Byron, but it's you that be starting this. I so. smile, she but she Byron. She like it. She like I it. smile, but Byron really, and, and shout out to Byron, he's not used to that. But Byron, Byron entertains you a little bit more, and he talks about you, and you just don't see that he's not really making, not really with you, he's making fun of you. But go right ahead. I think he's with you. Thank you. I think so too. Or else he so, wouldn't try to turn up with me all the time. Same Philly, this ain't brotherly love, so. Go ahead, but, uh, Baltimore. Ne- nevertheless, is uh, speaking of Baltimore, be more and show off. <laughs> hey man, that's on, a nice name. On uh, original <laughs> on on Snapchat and Twitter, and then of course on IG. Follow me, Black American Dream. That's what it is. Well, speaking of the dream, a dream that was not a reality for the Colts, they lost to the Patriots. Now listen, this was supposed to. This is the game everybody was waiting for. Deflate Gate being the backdrop. Because this is the two teams that ain't involved. And guess what? This would have been the game that Tom Brady would have came back on if he would have served that four-game suspension. Now, this game started off a little bit competitive. And then by the third quarter, the Patriots showed up and just took over. Now, the score, 34-27. to I kind of kind of stopped paying attention. The coach tried to make a comeback. Didn't happen. The Colts lose again to the Patriots in a close one. Those balls, not a factor anymore, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Well, well, honestly, the ball, balls weren't a factor when they played the first time in the playoffs. They lost how much to how much? It was like 45 to 14. Why did you even They got dogged. It was, it was bad. Like, whether deflated or not, they lost straight up. And they lost this time. But it was a much closer game. So, therefore, more entertaining. I was hoping it would have been competitive. But I didn't want the Patriots to annihilate them. Dre... Are the Patriots that damn good? You know, some people are saying that they're like the 07 Patriots, but I beg to differ because the 07 Patriots had a lot of freaking firepower. When you got Randy Moss on that side, I think it's pretty. Oh, they was blowing folks out. They was averaging like 35 I, I, points a game. They had a lot of weapons, and they had a lot of people that could do different things. However, is the Patriots season just what was really, really naturally going to happen, or is this just the fire inside of them because of the flaky? I mean – it's Tom terrific. So he showed y'all Tom like, terrific. did he not put on a clinic? You mm-hmm. know the sad part is, 
everybody was a lot of people were picking the Colts to win this game to upset the Patriots, but the Colts actually could have beaten the Patriots. Sure could have. They could have. Sure they, came they, out, dropped they, the ball. they came out on fire. You know, when especially when Andrew Luck and they put I always feel like the analysts curse people when they put up these stats and when they were like the the Colts had the longest drought in the NFL without scoring an opening touch um opening drive touchdown. And they scored on the Patriots. So I was like, okay, this game is actually a little different. And, and they got a defensive touchdown yeah. as well. So I was like, okay, this is real. But then the, the Colts just shot themselves in the foot. They, um, what was – all right, can we just get to it? What was that? I mean, Jesus. What was that play? What was that play? That whole freaking – When everybody shift to the left and all they had was the fight, center and – They hiked the and, ball. And then, what was and that? And then I think the guy even admitted that he knew – that wasn't a right formation, but they still went away. Then they, why did you call a timeout? Time and then still went back to the same play? I'm like, you can't That was a tragedy. That. Bruh, the, if I was the Patriots, I would have been laughing. And even Bill Belichick was like, what, I, what, what was that? Or whatever, ta- I will take the ball, but that's the worst play I've seen ever. That, I mean, at that point, that, 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 the, the game was still in, in reach. That's what I'm saying. That that play was like, all right, that's it. We we. we obviously threw the game away right here because we don't know what we were doing. Obviously, the Patriots didn't know what we were doing, but they still stopped us because it was no line. They had a non-quarterback back there. So what I don't understand, everybody was on this side. Even everybody was on the other side. It was like, what was that? Let's talk about the defense, shall we? um, We all said that in order for anyone to be successful against the Patriots, they would have to at least attempt to look like they were getting to Tom Brady or get him down. They got him down this game. Um, he took some hits. I mean, you, you, you he know. was hurried a little bit. You know what though? I and really, he took some sacks. I haven't really been seeing. Um, you didn't Tom see that sack? tap dancing like that. You he know, won I mean, tap dancing. Well, he got didn't. sacked. You, you know, I mean, you I mean, I know, sacks, I know to right? get to Tom yeah, Brady. You know, and you, you have to get him yeah. to start tap dancing like the late Gregory Hines. But lately, I haven't seen him. Um, did you watch you know, that game at all? He did because he got sacked. My brother, I'm not saying I'm not saying he didn't get hit, but I'm saying like in the past. And you what? know that was a uh, defensive pass interference. He yelled at the so him yelling at the refs like that. Tom Brady can get away with that. It helps. Oh my gosh. It helps. But um, I mean, look, th- what what it showed though was that the Colts season season is definitely not over. But they need to get together because all three losses have been outside of the division, and only and all three of your wins have been within the division. So you really got I mean, you thought they were going to be able to bring – I thought Andrew Luck coming back was going to be the resurging of the team. I mean, Matt Hasselbeck did what he had to do. As a backup no, quarterback – I think I think Andrew Luck actually kept them closer in that game than what they would have been. And it showed you that this was a de- a definitely a different Colts team. You know, work on some – work on a couple of things that you can tweak out. And they may actually be the, the, the team to actually make it to the AFC Championship game. Well, let's talk about a team that oh, is a- – huh? Angel Luck didn't throw any interceptions. Boom. Goody. Three Boom. touchdowns. He, he did enough to win. Boom. Boom. He didn't throw a lot of interceptions. A lot of other people do a lot of interceptions. You saw Peyton Manning at three. Oh, my god! But that Wade Phillips defense, baby. <laughs> Coming through again. Come to the clutchy. Um, let's move on to a team that may be may or may not be on a decline to a team that's resurgent. Can't everyone, one listen, one, two, three. Cam, Cam. Oh, <laughs> Can Cam. you oh my gosh. This um Cam Newton, he gets it done. Finally defeats the Seahawks in Seattle. This is big. Come from twenty seven to twenty three final score, come from behind. Big shocker. Cam Newton. If you didn't believe in it before, you was waiting for the man to mature. You were waiting for the man to be a leader. Everything you wanted him to be, that hundred and four million, deserving. Absolutely, absolutely. I I always believed in Cam Newton. The problem was he just had a lack of talent around him. But they are six and zero. Oh. <laughs> like they are really with or without it. They are real live six and zero. Oh. He's throwing to nobody's. He's running the ball like he always does. He's getting to the end zone. He's throwing it like. I, I don't I don't know. He's literally looking like Superman right now, and that defense, of course, is doing this part as well. But they are six six and zero behind Cam Newton, you know, and he does it all with a smile. You know, when we were talking about the MVP race, and a lot of us had, you know, Julio Jones in there, and some people were talking about Aaron Rodgers and of Andrew Luck. Um, Cam I Newton. think I think it's time that we put Cam Newton in that Absolutely. same category Absolutely. because Cam Newton right now has elevated his game to another level. What's it going to take? If if if, if they there are a lot of people said if he gets this kind of money, they cannot be nine and seven. They're way 
Pass, they almost there now. <laughs> they so almost there. So will it take another round, another wild card game, or will it take them actually getting to the second round? And he got to get to the second round. Yeah, you, I mean, at this round. at this point, you got to get, you got to advance. And it looks like they may actually advance because the the Carolina Panthers, when we're talking about undefeated teams, you know, it, of course the Patriots were in that mix. The Bengals got everybody's respect after um, after they had the Bills game and after the, the, and the Seattle Seahawks. game. Mm-hmm. Um, the Broncos, just because it's Peyton Manning alone. And that defense um, is crazy. Like I said, we were talking about the um, the Patriots. But um, we, we, we really forgot about the Panthers. I mean, I, oh, I mean I, we, I, we talked about the Packers, too. But we forgot about the Panthers, and we were saying that they were probably the, lose worst, first. the worst team out of the undefeated teams. And they showed you that it's actually probably the Broncos that is probably the worst of the undefeated teams. Well, the Falcons. Teams. Well, it was the Falcons. So right. I, I guess I would say, I guess it, in reality, the Falcons were the worst of the undefeated because they definitely took an L to New Orleans. At, um, I mean, but it, the Falcons look much, much better than what the Broncos do. Yeah, well, the Broncos are just – and I don't know if it's the Broncos or if it's Peyton Manning. But, no, no, I think it's the Broncos. That offensive line is really not good. I think it – I think <clears> it's – I think it, well, I mean, I want to get back to talking about Cam, but um, – because we're going to get to the Broncos. But um, it's really – it's really Peyton Manning in my opinion. But I want to give Cam Newton his shine because, like I said, I really think right now he's playing at an MVP uh, caliber level. And – Cam Newton is really the person who's carrying this team. And did you just see the joy in his heart, man? He's like when a kid. He's like a little kid out there. I mean, and I mean, to to beat Seattle in Seattle is really it's tough. Huge. And what and what we're not talking about is the thing that worked for Seattle was the crowd noise. Now that crowd noise may actually be their Achilles heel because you saw a total breakdown on defense that we never see from the Seattle Seahawks. I don't understand how you let the best receiver for the Carolina Panthers just go right past you, Greg untouched. Olson. Greg Olson. I mean, no, it's like <laughs> nobody paid this guy. And it's funny because who were the two people that looked at each other? Cam, Cam Chancellor Cam and Richard Sherman. Sherman. Like, looked at each other like, yo, where were you at? You never saw that in a Seattle defense. You never defense. see a miscommunication. Not you Seattle's know, defense. Let's talk about Seattle. Because, one, people aren't scared of Seattle anymore. Two, Seattle and that defense is like how we discussed – Last week on NWA, the Ravens defense. How are we discussing these two teams without defense being the main predecessor in what we're talking about them? They both have no defense this year. It's crazy. This is hard to believe. Nobody's afraid of the Legion of Boom any longer. And nobody's afraid of, of, of Baltimore Ravens defense anymore. How successful can Seattle be? Are they, are they going to be the type of team that – because let's be face it. They didn't do pretty well in the regular season, but they got to the playoffs and they made it happen when it's supposed to count. Now, see. now Jimmy, I don't understand what that was. They don't know how to use him. They, <laughs> they they're very him. inconsistent. What do we make out of Seattle? Well, you know they, what, Jimmy? Jimmy, what? Oh, my gosh. They got him blocking. Like, what are y'all you know doing? You damn well that man don't block. What are you doing? Why do you have him blocking, first of all? But but you know what? Now I think about me, I just, this thought just came up. They got him blocking because that offensive line is bad. The office line is terrible. Listen, public service announcement. Why don't they just take him? They saw what Cam Chancellor did to Julian Edelman. Granted, Julian Edelman is a is a pro bowl wide pro bowler. But look at this way: when he got hit by Cam, he became a man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you you just love <clears throat> saying that line. He can't. What? I haven't used it. He he had a concussion. He played through the whole game. He did not feel that game at all. No, I didn't. So go to practice. Tell Cam to pull your boy Jimmy to the side and just go at him a couple times. But, you know, I don't think that's the problem. They're just not using them, like, at all. Like, I, I, it's, use, it's like How two, do you use Jimmy Graham? It's like two games back-to-back where he had, like, one catch. How do you use Jimmy Graham? Yo, he has to run routes, run up the seams. Because when Jimmy Graham, first of all, Jimmy Graham's 6'7". All right? It's nobody that's going to take him one-on-one. Him, him and Gronkowski about the same. Like, he's 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Run him down the seams. There's no linebacker or safety out there right now. Now no. that, that that I can't think of no, off the top of my head I mean, that can take him one on one. About six two. That's the thing. I, I think that's about the average height for them. Right. And, that's not, but he's six six. You know what the, I'm saying? The thing is also Seattle doesn't have an offensive line. Yeah, I, I, that was the first thing I said. 
Like, it's really Russell Wilson really making them look better than what they are. And do you realize that all four Seattle losses have been fourth quarter blown leads? Mm. All Let's, of them. I want to talk about um, the, yeah. this whole free agency. When Jimmy went to Seattle, I was like, that's the trade that did it for me. This is about to be lit. Mm-hmm. DeMarco Murray goes to Philly. I'm like, he's going to show him, them why he gave them up. What's up with all these trades that happen in the offseason that just have plain haven't worked? Well, to the Eagles and DeMarco Murray, um, they just took him from Dallas. That's all they did. How do you feel I, about LaShawn McCoy? I'm convinced. And um, LaShawn McCoy, he has to get healthy. He obviously wasn't as healthy as everybody thought he was. And the Bills really need him because the Bills, it, when, when the Bills are healthy, they are a playoff team. And Dominican Sue. And Dominican Sue, that was a bad situation. I'm not mad at him going. I'm not mad at him going to Miami because it was a hundred million dollars. Like, who's not taking a hundred million dollars and going to South Beach? Like, who's not going to take <laughs> that money? I'll pretend I can block for hundred million. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But but the way um, Dolphins defense was set up, I can And I say and I say the past tense because the DC is no longer there. What they had him doing, they had him. Being too structured, like he has to do this, he has, he has to stay in this gap, he got to do this and that. With the Lions, they just say, Sue, be disruptive. Get to the quarterback, Man, be disruptive. Run and amok. It's different. When, when, like I said, I always say, when a defensive player is not thinking, that's when they're at their best. And you know, damn well, how come big much. guys can't even think anyway? They, they don't want to do no math. <laughs> they, big, big guy in front of me, move him. There's a guy with the ball, get him. That's it. That's how it's supposed to be. Simple. That's how it's supposed That's to be. Supposed That's to why be. Seattle's defense was so successful because it's simple. We play cover three buzz. Cam Chancellor, you roam the middle. Y'all, the rest of y'all take the thirds, and that's it. it. So rest the pass I mean, It was so crazy because you didn't even know that. Cam was coming. You be you be looking over here on the TV to the left, and Cam would come from the right, and you'd be like, "What the heck did he and come?" And Cam from? speed, his range, the, he covers a lot of you ground. Remember, him and Earl Thomas you cover a lot of ground. Watching Sean Taylor, and it was like the hey, same way. It looked yeah, like, same way. They used to be like. He's not gonna get there. And yeah, he is. It's like he ran. He ran half the field past the wide receiver. Came back to the wide receiver. Yeah, he was pretty fast. He was pretty fast for a big guy. How? how and this is kind of sort of off topic, but how do you think Sean Taylor would have matched against other wideouts? I mean, other um, um, guys in this league as far as defense? Do you even think we would even be talking about Revis Island or Richard Sherman? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course, of, of course, course, because they play in two different positions. You know what I'm saying? So, Sean Taylor I mean, isn't shutting he's anything, safety, anything down. Granted, he was a safety, but do you still think we would have? Oh, no. He still would have made noise because like he would have only gotten it's, better. It's like if Aaliyah was here, would we still be talking about Beyonce and Sierra? And, you know what? I mean, I mean, I mean listen. Maybe to not the same degree, but, the, I mean, you can't hide a person's talent. If you're talented, you're talented. I mean, people, you know, you can't forget Jay-Z was around – when Big and Pac were alive. So, I mean, you know, the, if you're talented, you're still going to shine. You know, may, I mean, you know, life has a way of having different twists and turns on things. But if you're talented, you're you're just going to shine. It just is what it is. So, Sean Taylor still would have been Sean, Sean Taylor, but there still would have been a Revis Island because, you know, in football, you still have that person that makes up the team. So, I mean, even if... Ray Lewis wasn't on the Baltimore Ravens. There still was an Ed Reed. There still was a Terrell Suggs. So there's still people in that, you know, in that group who miss, who still make that team. Let's move on, shall we? The Browns miss another opportunity to defeat the Broncos on another occasion. That final score, 26-23. Talk about a pick six. Can, can, can I just say early, um, my game can, ball would have went Wait to a 10. minute. We not there yet. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know if we were still. We doing were gonna that. do so it. Bad. Stop the presses. Not, my bad. I didn't know if we were still doing it. My, what's up? My, what's up with what's, what's up with the boys from Cleveland, man? You got a chance to beat the Broncos, a, a game where Peyton Manning was not him. Suffered. He hasn't three, been him in weeks. Three interceptions. Oh, see. I mean, but yeah, you know, he basically, been, yeah. he's 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 basically a manager of the game now because that defense just. Is he really a game manager? Because I mean, he's he's throwing he's throwing the game away. Look like <laughs> more picks than than touchdowns. And like Karante said, he's it's like you're throwing the game away. Like the 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 throw that Peyton Manning threw to have he's an turn to Kirk I'm Cousins. like I'm like this is clearly not Peyton Manning because I don't know when the world. What wow, is, dare I Pey- say he looking like what Kirk Cousins Pey- out there? But, wow, <laughs> wow. Did I say something that was relevant? Wow. But what is what is 
him not looking like Peyton. I mean, he's at the latter point of his career. He's in a place where he's not calling the plays anymore. He's not expected to be too much, do too much. At this point, he's a. I mean, he's been perfect. He's allotted the opportunity to make some mistakes, right? I mean, this being the end all, be all year. I don't think you want to, but no, no. no. I mean, wait, you're too. Put us to give him to, some slack. You're, no, you're too great to be Not making mistakes Manning. like this, and it it is just showing that really this is really the end for Peyton Manning. I'm I really I don't I think kind he's of, throw I'm him hoping up. that this is it for him because I don't think he has it anymore. I don't think he has. Maybe it he's not mentally invested anymore. It, oh, I mean, man. it's not even it, – it's physically <clears throat> invested. I mean, mentally, I think he wants to be there, but I think physically – But any given Sunday, don't... would you rather – you would rather have Peyton Manning back there still? I mean, in the past, yes, but the way he's been I, looking recently – Has he played these no. first six weeks? I don't like it. He's had two – he had multiple picks in all the games, and we see how these game, how these teams – how the Broncos are winning games. The defense. I mean – And, that, he, that and game, he's looking frustrated. I mean – You don't see – Peyton look frustrated that often. Right. He's hitting his head and making angry faces. He's he damn near showing emotion. Yeah, I don't I don't like this it. Is not I don't this, like it. This I don't like it. This is definitely not those nationwide commercials. Is my they head really that big? In, in their past couple of games, the Raiders game, the defense bailed you out. Um it and all this, and all the in all the games there's been a but, one defensive play that has taken it like, all right, then now the game's over. So somebody had to bail. Except for the Lions game. The Lions game, they kind of beat him. Are you saying that the defense is bailing him out? Absolutely. And the thing is, like, the games have been getting closer and closer and closer. I mean, the Browns were so close to defeating this team. It was utterly ridiculous. Let's let's talk about that. What's what's up with the Seahawks, the Broncos, the Falcons? They're all having to go to late, late game. What's up with this, this, this ending of the games? I I don't know. It seems like teams are not finishing. I'm, I don't. I don't know what happened where they lose, the but I'm two glad being on the ladder of the lo- loss. But right, you know. right, of course. But the Broncos, luckily, they have the defense who seems to always finish games. But the Seahawks, <clears throat> they can't finish because they can't produce offensively. They can't produce uh, consistently on the offensive side of the ball because that offensive line is so bad, and they are not getting Jimmy Graham involved. And who are the wide receivers? I ain't seen Matthews in I don't know how long, man. You ain't even said it. You I ain't. Say it. I, uh, you want to say it? Maybe if you say it, you maybe may call back. him out. Yeah, Matthews. Chris, I'm not even into it, man. I don't even know. I didn't even feel that, man. I but, don't know. The Super Bowl was lit. I was like, who is this? But it, I, I don't know. Give if Russell Wilson, if Russell Wilson, if Russell Wilson <laughs> is not creating, that offense is not moving. Uh, Beast mode is hurt. He's he's re- he's Marshawn Lynch right now. Um. I hadn't even seen him eating Skittles like that. It's bad. Talk about a comeback, though. Bad. Every time I think of him, I think of Megatron. Talk about a comeback. And, and what, was the other, what, was the other team, what was the other team you said? What? The Falcons? You, you said the Broncos. The Falcons. The Seahawks. And the, oh, the, well, the Falcons are 6 and one. But, five I mean, they got to win the last they're, minute. They're, they're I mean, you're either winning at the last minute or you're even losing at the last minute. There's been a lot of close games, and I've kind of kept it. With a lot of them. Well, well, so regardless, kind of, regardless of what you're doing, whether you're winning or losing, you can't do it. You can't because <laughs> yeah. eventually, because eventually Carla it's going, it's going, it's going to get you. Yeah, it's going to get you. Because just like the Falcons, the Falcons game when they played with the Saints was set up for that to happen again, and but Kirk, it didn't happen. And if Kirky would have kept, would have not have been Kirky. No, I, I'm not even talking. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even talking. Yeah, right, 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 right. But then. That was a game that was like, all right, yo, maybe that should have been a game that was like, all right, yo, that was too close. But, but then a- here come the Saints, and they beat them. They straight up beat them. I mean, that was at the point. I mean, it wasn't even close. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know, but it has I to mean, stop. I mean, you called it. That was a trap game. You call it. Um, Game balls, not so game balls. My game ball has to, I mean, so I'm going to agree with you on your point, because I think you were going to make the point, Dre, about Cam Newton being game ball, right? Yeah, of course, Cam. Absolutely. I, I, my game ball, if I had to give anybody a game ball, um, my game ball, and, and it's going to be crazy to believe this, but um, I'm going to go to the whole, let's see, where am I going here? It's going to go to the whole Bengals team. I don't know Baby what brother. the hell is going on, but you, I'm buying it right now. Okay. I'm going to buy it. You should. You should. You should buy it. <laughs> I know you don't want to you said no 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 i i, I told gonna, you during the season i buy them i'm gonna I buy, buy them right now i'm swiping I'm the card buy, baby i am swiping right the card now. my not so game ball goes to the ravens i can't believe what i watched and what, what the kicker yeah, that was, yeah, that was the kicker you got one job <laughs> 
Granted, that that field is in horrible shape, but he but slipped. That was, you, a bad fall. On, bro, that was a bad you fall. Come on, bro. You slip and you, he looked like the one of them cartoons that slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> I could not believe. I could not believe I was watching the Ravens lose another one. Another I can believe one. It. Another one. And another one. <clears throat> Who's your game ball? You know, so game ball, Dre. Cam. Game <laughs> ball. You deserve it, my brother. Yeah, Superman, You on this day, you definitely deserve it. Um, I don't think anybody saw him beating the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. He's had such poise, dude, because a lot of people have not believed in him. He's uh-huh. believed in himself. Cam, you you did your thing, baby. I mean, Let me get five dollars so, though, one hundred four million, baby. I, I'm so happy for you, my man, and um, you just put yourself in the MVP race. Dun dun dun, not so game ball. Um, definitely say has with to your go, chest because you gotta be angry when you say. Definitely has to go to the the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> I don't know what in the world y'all were thinking, <laughs> dude. Th- and this is why Johnny Manziel should start, man, dude. Nah, man, that brother drunk. <laughs> hey, look, Drunk and beating women. Hey, look, look. He back in the what, news again. I don't know what your Johnny boy, does, but Johnny can that turn char- up and you That character game. test is not working on your boy. Johnny, you know what? He could he could turn up and, and still win you some 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 uh, some games, man. I tell you, but um, man, dude. All right, so it's it's fourth quarter. <laughs> and Draw it up, baby. You, Draw it up. You you have the Broncos. On the on the on the cusp of defeat, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you could see this because he's he's saying it as he has his pr- hands in prayer mode. <laughs> and, 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 and this fool, <laughs> instead of taking the sack, decides to throw a hail mary pass, and it gets picked off, which then leads into overtime. <laughs> you have a chance to defeat this team again in overtime. And again, you blow it. I mean, I'm just like, it's like the Broncos were giving you the game and you just didn't take it. The, the Browns disgust me. <laughs> oh, you sound like <laughs> Stephen A when you said that. Shout out to the boy Stephen A. Cravante, do you want to start with the good news or the bad news first? Um, you want to do something co- I, unconventional? I'm going oh, to definitely and, start. And, and, and let me do an honorable mention real quick. For, for game for ball, game not, ball, so, not so game ball. Not so game ball. <laughs> I'm watching I, every Sunday after the games. I watch NFL Network and NFL Game Day with Dion, um, the playmaker Marshall Marshall Falk. But the, the host, he compared Peyton Manning to Tim Tebow. Oh. Now I understood the analogy that he was given, but even Michael Irvin, Dion, and Marshall Falk had to give this brother the side eye because. Don't do they, that. You, if, don't you, do, if you have an honorable, do if you have an honorable mention, I have one too. All right, I, I just had to throw that one in there real quick because I, I mean, as much as a Tebow fan as I am, you cannot put Peyton Manning and, and, and Tim, Tim Tebow, Tebow in, in the, the same, same sentence. sentence. And he was saying that the defense has been bailing them out, but in the case of Tim Tebow and Peyton Manning, I mean, the the defense shouldn't be pay, bailing out Peyton Manning. I they should mean, just be finishing off when but, he started. But, but Peyton Manning's resume. It, 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 it's like it's, 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 it, it kind of eludes him to be able to. It's do like this. comparing. If t- I mean, let's talk about Tim Tebow. It's like comparing one scripture in the Bible to the whole Bible. <laughs> there you go. I couldn't. Nah, I couldn't say it any better than that. My honorable mention of the not so game ball. Oh boy. You know, not so this, game these, ball. Are, these are one of the things that you look forward to, especially on a Sunday night game, because you know it's going to probably be lit. It's going to be a game. It's a it's a division rival game. The freaking New York Giants. Mm. <sighs> Dang, man. She took my that – was, that was my not so game oh, ball. I'm so sorry. Mm. But, but did they really do that against the Eagles? Granted, the Eagles – now everybody wants to claim that the Eagles are the best team in the NFC East. No. About a week ago – Hey, really... time to mortgage homecoming because you were doing this <laughs> in the parking lot. He broke lot, out and dance. I just can't believe it. Now that now the Eagles are going going to win the, in the, 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 the division and all this extra mumble jumble, blah 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 blah. The Giants had a shot to just be the men. Like this division sucks. I'm gonna just say it. You are you are like the in the the the. the you are like you, you just disgust me. Can somebody put their foot down, Cravante? You can take the reins now, sir. Well, since your honorable mention had to be my actual not so game ball, I'm a. Uh, you can elaborate still. 
How are you disgusted listen, with the New York listen, Giants? All right, all right, New York. All right. <clears throat> New York. Um, <laughs> Clear your throat. You played so well against the Redskins. Cool. Um, You had a stranglehold on the Falcons, but lost the game. Cool. All right, this is a divisional game. This was your chance to put the foot, your foot down. Start off the game, great. Open and drive, touchdown. Awesome. But you That's didn't. It. But you didn't do anything else after That's that. It. How dare you? Sam Bradford threw the ball up for grabs multiple times, and they could do nothing with it. Talk, Eli. Eli, where's you at? Who do you believe in, Dre? Not Eli, because they blew it. Like seven points. That's it. That's it. You had one good drive, and that was the first drive, and it was just so non-existent. It was hurting my feelings because they beat us handily. <laughs> Yeah. Tore us I, up. I, they beat us handily. Like out of all the games that we had, that game was not the close one. You know what I'm saying? And um, but but my game ball, my game ball is going to that boy Landry Jones. Ooh. Ooh. What? Where did this guy come from? And then to go up against the Cardinals defense, which is one of the, which is easily top five before that game. <laughs> I don't know what it is now, <laughs> but they was definitely top five before that game. Two touchdowns, no picks. Like he just came in there and just did what he had to do. You know, you know what? Though? Honorable I mention mean, for another game ball, Martavis Bryant. God, man. What, did he come back or did he yards. not come back? One hundred and thirty-seven. Welcome yards back, my brother. But, but Woo. Let me let me briefly t- uh, before we go on break touch on uh, on Michael Vick, man. Poor guy. Damn it! Darn it! Michael Vick. That honestly may be the last time we see Michael Vick. In a starting role in the NFL, he did such a good job. He he was doing a good job, but when somebody comes in like a Landry Jones and he 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 lights up the joy because first of all he Absolutely. lit up the 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 Cardinals. Absolutely. Second of all, Antonio Brown just seemed so much happier with him in the game. Like he just he seemed like he was on the same page with him. Like he was enthusiastic. You know, I mean, even when the it balls It takes a different kind even, of guy to accept a guy like Michael Vick. You know, even when the balls weren't thrown, he, he seemed like he was going to work with them. So, I, I really think that this this may really be the last time that we see Michael Vick in the starting role in the That's NFL, pathetic. which is really Come sad. On, stop it, stop it, stop and, um, I have a honorable mention for a not so game ball. The Atlanta Falcons, <laughs> you had a chance to stomp on New Orleans Saints' throat they didn't take and, the game kill, seriously. and kill you their know. season. Now you done messed around and not only lost, but then you gave the New Orleans Saints hope that they could turn their season around. Well, they, they Let the door that open, That was man. a trap game. You know, they walked. I don't think it they sure walked. It sure was a trap game. I don't even think they walked in there thinking they were going to lose. And when you overestimate and overcompensate for yourself, that's what that's happens. That's so when you get smacked. That's when you get punched in the mouth. They got smacked from start to finish. I couldn't believe Right, the whole game, start to finish. Mm. We're gonna take a break. That was the week. That was week six. Did a little bit. Did it a little bit different today. Only four games in your radar. We'll be right back. And when we come back, we have a we have some scores to settle. Right? We don't got the picks. Yeah, we got them. We, we got, got them. the picks. Got some scores to settle. Giving you that week seven preview. This is the flex on. I will tell you. Come back. But you, what else did you would you do? But come back, of course. Just grab some soda or something. Came back. Um, settling some scores. You know this battle. It might be a little bit. This is a div- these picks are a divisional battle. Shoot, 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with the? Let me let's. What happened last week with all of us? Let's see. All right, week six. Roger he went eight and six. Brittany went eight and six. Andre went seven and seven. Cravante seven and seven. Byron seven and seven. Byron. I yes, I went six and eight. And James went eight and six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not too much hype about that. <laughs> no, not when you go six and eight. That's, that's disrespectful. Week six, Roger has 55. What's that, wins? Yeah, yeah. those are wins. 55 wins. wins. Brittany with 45. Andre with 56. D with 58. Cravante with 58. Byron with 54. And I'm the Lone Ranger because, of course, I didn't do week one, so I'm at 46. Holla if you hear me. I hear you. Anyway. Because I'm up there. That's my dog. Anyways, that's my dog. Week seven, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, gentlemen, gentlemen. Dang, I'm on girl, gentlemen. Thursday night football, people. October twenty second, Seahawks. They go to San Francisco. I want to pick the Seahawks, but I'm not believing it. I'm gonna pick the Forty ers I'm not mad at you for that. I, 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 not, I don't want to do it. I am not. I mad love at you. the Seahawks. I really, I love, I love Russell Wilson. Y'all know I'm really a fan of the Legion of Boom. I love Cam. I love the Seahawks. I love Marshawn. I just can't understand how they lost. They keep losing the way they are losing. And I would not be surprised if the 49ers took advantage of what they did to the Ravens, to the Seahawks, and we're having a discussion about the Seahawks next week. Please prove me losers because this is a pick that I really don't want. But I'm going to take the 49ers. You know what? I'm sorry. Every time the 49ers, even when they were at their best. They're Colin Kaepernick, all, like Super Bowl quarterback Colin Kaepernick. All, always struggled against the Seattle Seahawks. Just He just never was able to get over the hump. And granted, he was gave, he was able to get over the Baltimore Ravens, but this is a completely different well, Baltimore shoot, He Ravens had people team. that wanted some revenge. The, the Seattle Seahawks, though, they're still the Seattle Seahawks. They're still a divisional opponent. And the Seattle Seahawks, it's not like – it's similar to Baltimore where Baltimore games aren't bad. Like It like seems the like Ra- they shoot themselves like the, in the foot. Yeah. The Ravens are capable of beating any team. Like, all their games have been close. And Seattle, all their games, they've blown fourth quarter leads. So, I think in this one, I think they get back to it. Seattle is still, a, Seattle, is still Seattle at the end of the day. So my two, my my pick is Seattle. To win hopefully, the hopefully they Seattle. bounce back. I'm gonna take the L on this pick. I will. I, I'm definitely going with Seattle. Um, um, the Forty yeah, Niners are. Uh, there is no way they could repeat. They have a repeat performance of what they did to the Ravens. No way. Sunday. Now we gotta. We're going back to London. London. Chidio. But they come back with the dumbest games. If we gonna go overseas, can we get a good one? Um, the Bills play the Jags. The Bills will beat the Jags. Is that unanimous? May I move on? Yes. Sure can. Okay. But football, early morning, 930. That's awesome. I'm glad because ain't nobody watching. No, I will be asleep <laughs> till 1. Exactly. Um, anywho, the Buccaneers, 1 o'clock, go, play the, go to D.C. to play the Redskins. I'm going to do what I do all the time, pick the Redskins 400, but they better win this one. They're pissing me off. And... Clearly, we're still laughing stock of the NFL, but you're still in my heart. I, I could see actually the Redskins winning this uh, this matchup. If you really. see it, it will not happen. Please don't see it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get surprised? Hey, you act like I cursed the Can team. Can we get so. surprised? Oh you my act God. like I cursed the team. I want to be um, as surprised as I was when we be feeling. Um. However, I can't pick y'all. Um, <laughs> I just know Jameis Winston has a game in him, and I feel like they're really so close. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Skins did win this football game, especially being at home against a rookie quarterback. I am going with I'm going with the Redskins. I think we got we, – we're still we, – the injury bug hit us a little bit. Our offensive lines and shuffles. Hopefully Deshaun Jackson – can come back this week and Chris Culliver come back this week because they were all out and Trent Williams didn't play either so us beating the Jets was a long shot but I think we can I think we could beat the Buccaneers we should be the I, well I'm not saying we should beat the Buccaneers this is a winnable game 
Moving on, the Falcons go play the Titans. Falcons, unanimous, can we move on? Sure can. Yep. Okay, this is a good one. Saints, both teams looking to... a good one. Well, <laughs> the Colts are looking to bounce back. The Saints are looking to continue the process. I'm going to take the Colts, though. I was going to say, Dre, who you got? I'm, it's, I thought it was unanimous on this one, too. It is. Okay, okay we can, can we move why, on? Why would I choose the Saints? Can this? we move on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Vikings, Lions, Vikings. Can I we think move on as well? another unanimous one. Uh, we just rolled it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unanimous Vikings. Steelers at the Chiefs. I... Another We're at one. Arrowhead. I'm taking the Steelers. <laughs> I'm still taking the Steelers. Arrowhead doesn't mean hasn't mean anything this year. I'm taking the Steelers. I will as well. Um, we're gonna move forward. The Browns at the Rams. I think I'm gonna take the Browns. They should win this one. Oh wow! Whew. I'm actually going with the Rams. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna roll with the Rams too. I'm going with the Rams on this one. It's in St. Louis. And I hope if Todd Gurley plays, oh boy, watch out now. Oh boy, T- Tavon Austin. Watch oh, out man. now. Oh, my gosh. It could be you bad. can tell. What was it you said a, a couple weeks ago? You said you could tell this team is stacked when Nick Burley is, is on the bench. Is the backup. He's coming. He's in a rotation. Of course he's going to play, but he's not starting. Nick Fairley. Nick Fairley. <laughs> Rest in peace, though, Nick Farley. Uh, ooh. What are you talking about that man? Unless he's really gone. Texans. Wait go. Minute, wasn't that Wasn't that the dude from Saturday Night Live? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Speaking of Saturday Night Live, <laughs> shout out to uh, Hustle Man. He was on the show. My man, what's his name? I don't know his real name. He's Hustle Man to me. Um. Oh, uh, uh, Trey Tracy Morgan. Yes. Oh, okay. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that is. Shout out to him. Had a long Imagine year. you said Hustle Man. That's how you. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you. Fifteen G's, Chief. <laughs> shout out to Tracy Morgan. Talk about overcoming something. Still yeah, funny. man, that was big. That was big. What did he say? They told me that my, that I didn't lose part of my brain, but my brain was gone already. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. Uh, the Texans go to play Miami. I'm going to take oh, the Texans. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a, a quick shout out um, for my mistake. From it's my Chris mistake. Farley. Chris, Chris Farley. Farley. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to take the Texans on this one, gentlemen. Who you got? I'm 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 rolling Miami. Miami looks like they're turning things around with the new coaching staff, and I don't believe in the Texans. Can you turn that hell on? Or? I'm sorry. Um, I apologize I mean, for my outburst. I, I think the Texans <laughs> win last week was a fluke. And, um, <laughs> it was. <laughs> I'm going to take the Texans. And in games like this, when you really don't know what team to pick, I really try to roll with the better of the two quarterbacks. And the Texans still don't know who their quarterback is. Man, they don't know who their team is besides J.J. Watt. The Texans, the Texans are one of those teams – they're just missing a quarterback, and this is a completely different team. I'm telling y'all. I know, I know. The Jets play the uh, Patriots next game. I'm thinking about wanting to take the Jets. That defense, it's about time the Patriots see another one. But chance. I mean, can you really vote against Tom and the boys? Oh, oh. I'm gonna take the Patriots. Sure can. Unanimous. What you doing? Well, to make it clear though, um, I was choosing the the Dolphins. Dolphins. But um, actually, you gonna take the Jets? No, they're due, they're due for. I can't an, they have a chance. It. They have a chance because they're, they're due defense. for an upset. And the fact that, but the Patriots really don't get upset. This, this is this. You either beat them or you don't. The Patriots really don't get upset. I don't want to pick them. I, mean, I'm, I'm I want season, the Jets most to win, people but are hey, choose the Patriots in every game. But I think by it being a divisional game, I think the Jets could surprise them. I mean, they could. They got a chance. They have the defense to do it. They got the defense, the running game. They have they all the sure pieces that you really need wasn't. to do it. Let's move on, shall we? To the four o'clock games. The Oakland Raiders go to play the San Diego Chargers. Philip Rivers didn't do bad, Dassey. Didn't do shabby. I'm gonna take the Chargers. Um, this is the, this is a divisional game. Um, they usually play each other pretty well. I'm gonna. Neither of these defenses are good. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Chargers because just kind of like what Dre said, when it comes down to this, divisional games, close games, got to go get the quarterbacks. Phil Rivers, Derek Carr. I'm going with Phil Rivers. I'm choosing the Raiders. Sean will love you right now. He man. likes saying that. That's, what I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he does it, man. But every time he says it, I don't think – what's your record with that? One and two? Yeah. They, 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 you know what? They – but I always say it's an upset every week in the NFL, and I think that this would be the time when the Raiders, if they, especially if the Raiders want to make the playoffs and make that push to turn around, this is the time to do it. Yeah, that's true. 
Moving on, shall we? Another divisional game. Make this a pick. This is your upset pick. <laughs> Make this your upset pick. <laughs> Despite their woes last week against the Eagles, they should be the Giants should beat the Cowboys. I'm taking the Giants. Absolutely. <laughs> The G-Men, though, man, they, they, they really disappointed. You guys, this, you and guys, then this will be a good bounce back, a good bounce back. Play another divisional game, a very weak Cowboys team, and it's, in, and it's at home. Yeah. You can't you can't lose this one. Can't throw this game now, away. Now, if they lose this one. Oh, man, they might be in the toilet. The, the Giants? No, well, the, the Cowboys are already heading towards the, the plumber now. So, Actually, um, yo, if the, if the Cowboys could maybe get, could maybe pull two more wins without, uh, Tony Romo, they might be able to roll back out, but it's just that <laughs> it's just that I don't think without them that they can win. But if they could somehow pull like two wins and then they come back, they can probably make a nice little but, push. But I don't, also, I don't just though, don't see it. Isn't um, they're not starting weed, and so I think that the fact that oh, the yeah. Cowboys are off the weed, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Done. Um, and the fact that they have somebody else starting that quarterback. I could see the Cowboys actually winning this football game because people are forgetting that, you know, the Cowboys have everything that you need actually to win a football games in the NFL. They have multiple running backs, so they, they, they're able to run the football. They play good on defense. It's just I believe Julius Randle's out, though. Yeah. I think Julius Randle's out. I mean, was it is Julius Randle? I think one, one of them But the out. fact that they changed the quarterback, though, I think that, that that'll help the Cowboys out. Um Let's round yeah, this poppy so, out, shall we? So, I'm going to choose the Cowboys, actually. Yeah, of course wow. you are. I'm going to round this out. <laughs> Whatever. I, I, I went on that whole soliloquy. I'm up here talking about <laughs> how I wanted to choose the, the Giants. I, I, wish, I, I was hoping you would have just got to it, man. I, uh, I, bet, I think the fact that the Giants you're really pe- oh, so well, the well, Cowboys. Well, they, well, Des Bryant may come back this week. They're yeah, rushing him if he does. Absolutely. I just really think that not them smart. changing quarterbacks is really going to make a difference with this this uh, Cowboys. So they, because uh, so 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 you you you're a Cowboy fan this week. No, I mean I'm just saying I'm, when you really analyze it. Well, I'm just really saying he didn't put that much <laughs> said, strength mean, into. No, he put a lot into that one. Are so. you? But I don't even know. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he picked week. the Panthers. You turn cold on the Eagles. Mm-hmm. You you you're 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 like. Your 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 inability to pick a team is like watching a patchwork quilt be put together. Oh man! By your grandmother or something. Oh, just so slow. It's so many different patches and colors and and schemes. And no, I don't even like that analogy because it ends up being beautiful at the end. It ends up being beautiful at the end. What however, Dre is doing is not it's is a sweet dream. It's or not a no. it's not a puzzle piece that. It's never a puzzle piece that fits, though. Yeah, but you might got one big box and then a small box. You know, it's different. He's just different. I think he's a puzzle. He's a puzzle. He's a box of pe- irreconcilable of differences between you and decisions. How about that? He's like that? a puzzle. He's a puzzle with missing pieces. Them pieces of the puzzle when you got a big puzzle and you said you could do it, but you can't. It's a and thousand, all them pieces a, just end up sitting on the floor. <laughs> you trying to switch between them? <laughs> I heard this laugh. <laughs> Anywho, eight thirty, people. Sunday night football <laughs> on NBC. You were at the Panthers. You were just you were so at the Panthers. Oh, you already know I'm taking care of you. I don't know if it's the, you being sleepy or what, but get in my chopper. Anyways. Get to the chopper. Do it. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> <laughs> he goes at the Panthers, man. Yeah, I'm taking a man. I, I Cam, think, Cam, think, think Cam. Can, what'd you say? One, two, three. Cam. Cam. All right. Unanimous. Moving forward. We got another 830 game, but that one happens to be on Monday night. The Ravens oh, at the Lord, Cardinals. The Ravens Every Monday time night. I pick the Ravens, they do the impossible and lose. But these days, it's not even impossible. It's possible. But I'm going to pick the Ravens. <laughs> you you, you tripping. I, I, I really, I really am going to pick the Ravens. I, I, I really do. Against the Cardinals at home the on Cardinals, Monday night The Cardinals football. should be mad that they lost to the Steelers, but they should. Mm, they got another AFC North opponent. They don't get the Ravens. This game will be over by. You know what? I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be nice to the, to the, the hometown team, but they're, you're gonna lose by at least about ten. Oh Lord! And it'll probably be over about. I, I would say, I would say two touchdowns. It'll probably be. I'm a homer, so I'm going to be nice. And it'll probably be over by, say. like, third quarter, mid-third mid quarter. I'll, Will I'll we be that. falling asleep 
I mean, you fall asleep on Monday night and Sunday night games anyway because you know you got to work. But but if they're, but you know you stay up for your team. Who would be falling asleep on this one? Yes. <sighs> but it you won't know be what, entertaining. Though? I might. Well, hold on. Wait. Monday. What comes on Mondays? Love and hip hop. <laughs> love and hip hop. Because I, I, I know Sunday. I know Sunday night. Um, Walking Dead comes on, so I'm gonna be flipping <laughs> flip flopping between that. Monday night. Black Ink Crew does come on. Monday Night Raw, um, Love and Hip Hop. There's Black Ink Crew. There's a lot of options. No, on no, Monday Black Ink Crew's over. They're going to be in Chicago now. They, <gasps> had, the they, they had the reunion already. Oh, man. Well, the Black Black Ink Crew. They yeah, I did hear reunion. about that. I did hear about that. Well. Every time, um, and you know what? A&T's homecoming is coming up, too, now that y'all talk about Black Ink Crew. I'm sorry. Every, 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 <laughs> the every the first G-Ho I went to, Duchess was there, so. She is a hometown girl. She reps North Carolina to the fullest. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And I rep the flex on to the fullest. And for the first time in a long time, we done a little bit early. We did it. It's over. You did your thing. The there show you. is over. There you go. How do you feel, fellas? Sleepy. Oh, the three amigos. Amigas and amigos. The Amiga and amigos. Anywho, um, come out October 27th. October 27th. What's going on today? Next Tuesday. You want to know what's going on? What's going okay, on good. L- let me tell you. Please. Burnland Bar and Grill, Sports Bar and Grill to be exact, located at, conveniently located at 6319 Bel Air Road, the Flex Zone. What about them? What's, what, what's going on? I mean, the Flex Zone. I mean, where we going? We're going live. Oh my gosh. L I V E. Oh boy. This face will match the voice, not on the Tizub, but in front of the millions. And millions. America, we're coming. J.J. Watt hitting the tree bark in the woods. <laughs> Don't you want to see the flex zone? Shout out to Peyton Man. Anyways, please. We're going to be talking about the kickoff of the NBA 2015-2016 season, and we will put in some NFL action in that. All the action starts at 8 p.m. So I hope you're there. Um, we want to thank True Sounds for our thing song. Don't forget to like us on f- our Facebook page, The Flex Zone. Follow us on Twitter and follow us on Instagram at The Flex Zone 1. Check out our YouTube channel, The Flex Zone. If you have any questions, ideas, or possibly want to be a guest, you can always send us an email to theflexzone1 at gmail.com. Tonight's show is executively produced by Andre Melton, engineered by Richard Goody. He's not here, but shout out to the boy Rich. Our associate producers are Moi and Crevante Cre- Hurt. And our intern is, wait for it. Matthews! Corey! And little does he know, he found out today that you're, you're, not, you're not treated as bad of an intern as you as, 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 as another intern that shall remain in the past. So Shall remain nameless. You're lucky, my friend. We actually it's like good. you. It's all good. Damn, all good. I wish I didn't like him. <laughs> Shout out again for that McDonald's, bro. I know that was about a week ago, but his sister was hungry. Anyways... The Flex Zone can be heard on SoundCloud, iTunes, starting soon, Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with Dre D and Crivante for this Flex Zone takeover on Snowman in the Morning with Brian Snow on the Arena Sports Network. Listen in by going to www.arenasportsnet.com. This episode is rebroadcasted again on Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the Arena Sports Network as well. Again, that email, www not email, again, that website, www.arenasportsnet.com, as well as our new station, Positive Power 21, which can be heard by going to www.positivepower21.org. Global Christian Radio, powered by Spreaker Radio. For once, I'm glad we don't hear that feel the power thing. Um, Wednesdays between 11.30 and 1 a.m. I was getting sick of that thing. 1.30 a.m., I mean, 11.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. Additionally, you can catch us on Thursdays at 6.30. Hey, man, listen. It went down last week on the NWA Sports Report uh, with Sean Yost on WEAA 88.9 FM on First Edition. Shout out to Sean. Sean will be our guest for our NFL segment at Birdland Bar and Grill. And we have no other than Coach Bozeman for October 27th. Shout out to Morgan State University for our NBA segment. So we got some heavy hitters coming in. Um, I've hosted. Dre's been on it. We missed you last week, Cavante. Man, you know it's going to go about that uh, that Browns win. Will you be back? Absolutely. He'll be back. And we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. As um, Shout out to the guys, D, Byron, Roger. Shout out to the girl, Brittany. We'll see them back. They'll be back next week. Well, some of them. We'll be back next week. <laughs> and um, as always, 
I say it all the time. I don't care if it doesn't rhyme. It's mine. I'm Mikhail like Kevin McHale, and we'll see you next week. Show's over, people. Peace. Peace.